Today we're taking a look at another frame. This one may look familiar to some people. This is the HSKRC FOSS 210. Now, I did not say FLOSS, you sillies. I said FOSS 210. Here's the package that it comes... Wait a minute. FLOSS 210? <laughs> Here are all the pieces that come with it. And these arms, they're pretty decent. They're actually cut correctly on the carbon fiber, so you have the strands running the lengthwise of the um, arm and also the underneath one will probably go this direction just because you know they rotate them 90 degrees every layer so as long as it's going one way or the other they're probably okay and also if I try to flex this I'm getting no flex out of it at all so that's good also it comes with the bottom plate the little top plate looks like a wrench and also has pretty decent TPU printed um, camera holders and these are indeed TPU and they're not breaking <laughs> that's good uh, it has the spacers down here, three red ones, and uh, some other pieces to help put the arms on. It also comes with an instruction sheet, and this instruction sheet also calls it the Floss 210 also. So, <laughs> if they were trying to go with the Foss idea, well, they, they didn't take it all the way out through the instructions. I'm going to start putting this together, and we'll see how it looks, and I get some measurements off of it. So here's the bottom portion of the frame, almost finished. If you look here on the bottom, I can show you it has the uh, hole spacing for a 20 by 20 flight board. It also has the hole spacing for your 30.5 by 30.5 flight board. Now the 20 by 20 is going to fit right here on the four new holes. The 30 by 30.5 by 30.5 is actually going to use these back screws that go through your arms. And the screws they recommend are a little bit long, that way you can put your flight board on there and then have something on top to mount down to. So here I have the spacing change for the 30.5 by 30.5. Up here on the front we have the nylon spacers. You're actually, actually going to have to add, add on two of the nylon washers on there. That way it comes up to be the same height as the uh, piece in the back. So here's the uh, extra little board that came with that mounts on there. And you can see it's pretty level with those spacers in place. Without the spacers it's going to be tilting forward. So if you're a little OCD, you probably can't deal with it. And also, you'll probably have problems stacking the other things on top. So here it is fully assembled now. And if you do use the 30.5 x 30.5 flight board, you're going to have enough spacers to build up a second layer on here with what's included because it comes with six of them. If you're using 20 by 20, hopefully you bought a flight board that comes with some extra spacers so you can use those because you're only getting six in this package. Also, back here in the back, this little antenna holder, it has to go up here if you want this top piece to be uh, level across here. You could take this out and try to move it down here but now you're dealing with trying to make the spacer down here the same height as the other three with this thing in there. So the, I think they just really want you to put it up here and then you don't have to worry about you know height differences between the front and the back. Also it comes here with these 3D printed things. They fit on there perfectly. They're a little snug which is what you want and uh, that will be supposed to cut out but I'll do that later. So this is what it looks like. Let's get some measurements off of this frame. The website calls this a FOSS 210. So if I line up the ruler there, it comes over here, it's almost spot on 210. Side to side distance is about 137. The front to back is about 154. The arms are about four millimeters. Top plate's about two millimeters. The bottom plate is about three millimeters. The spacing inside here for the camera is about 26. So this should fit a micro run cam just perfectly. From the top to bottom is about 28 millimeters of space inside to build your stack. This back post is 25 millimeters. The two front posts are 20 millimeters. So here it is fully built out. It does have all the spacers in there. So we'll put it on the scale. Comes out about 61.2 grams. This thing is an extremely light frame. So here's the FOSS frame sitting next to a diatome frame. This FOSS frame is about 5 grams lighter, but this one is a little bit longer. And it, because of the extra length and also it doesn't have the... Um, arm screws built into the flyboard area. It does weigh a little bit more, it comes in about 5 grams heavier. Now this is probably more closely re related to the Floss 2 frame, whereas this is actually a Floss 1 frame. And these guys are a little late to the game cloning the Floss 1. It's been out for a while and a lot of people really have moved on to the Floss 2. The end of these arms have been cloned almost exactly off of the original, which is cool, but also kind of bad. <laughs> because. I don't know. They sh I don't think they should clone stuff exactly the same. But anyway, this does only have the holes for the larger size motors. So a couple of motors that I've been wanting to try are these 2507 motors. And actually I have a set of green ones on another quad. And these things are actually pretty large. Here's a set of Brotherhood, Brother Hobby. And these are the 2206 1720 KV. And if you look at this, oh my gosh, they almost look like dwarfs compared to this one. 
and this the 25 is just so much larger around than the smaller one so here's the racer star 2507 if i put this on a scale it comes in about 40.2 grams so these are very heavy motors here's the brother hobby one this one has a little bit longer wires it comes in about 29 grams so you're trading a little bit of weight on this one for hopefully a little bit more torque being a larger straighter this one's going to be a little bit smaller and it's the 2206 so i don't know I haven't flown these yet i'm kind of anxious to try them i did like i said mother quad that i just built with 6s has these motors on it so and it's flying really well it has a huge amount of low end torque which i attributed initially just to the 6s but now i'm kind of thinking the larger straighter size is actually helping that a lot so this is the HSKRC FOSS 210 frame, not to be confused with the FLOSS frame. And if you didn't tell your friends it was a FOSS, they probably wouldn't know any difference. <laughs> anyway, this is a FOSS frame. If you have any questions about this, let me know down in the comments. Uh, all my quads going forward are all going to be 6S that I build. I may buy some more 4S quads, but everything going forward is going to be 6S. And this one will probably end up having 6S motors on it as well, or another frame that I have coming soon in another video. Anyway, subscribe, you'll see those upcoming videos. If you have any questions about this, leave them down in the comments. I'll try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.